And because of the increased access, now you can do quick telemedicine visits, uh, there's no travel needed, uh, you don't have room issues as much because now you're all virtual. Um, you know, this led to a market increase in telebusiness. I know this is a 2020 CDC uh, stat, um, and it, yes, it, the, the stats are lower now as we've gone back into face-to-face, -face, but, um, and we didn't expect it to last forever, but that, that's remarkable. And then the, another study out of Germany says that uh, so many percentage of doctors, nurses, and medical professionals, uh, they surveyed and it, the responses were, uh, that this really impacted us and um, it, it made a big difference. And um, I, I believe that there'll be a lot of positive parts of that as well, um, not just um, other uh, impacts of, of concerns that we talked about. So uh, the, the physicians felt on uh, this survey um, that uh, telehealth is easy to use. Um, and yes, maybe some of these physicians were already sort of familiar with computers and EHRs, but telehealth technology has evolved quite a bit and it's been embedded in a lot of EMR solutions uh, and integrated with EMR charts and stuff. So I believe that is part of it. And then also uh, the improved satisfaction with work. I mean, you know, physicians could and providers could be seeing patients from their home. They're not having risk of COVID infection. Um, they don't have to travel. Um, there is uh, just a, a sense that I could see more patients and I could you know, all kinds of things. Sometimes even a caregiver could be there accessible with the patient for for history or whatever, because they're doing it from home. Um, and then 68% of physicians reported they wanted to increase the use of telehealth in their practice. And this may have to do with convenience, but also the reimbursement, I, I believe, had a big part of it. Just another revenue stream. Um, and it doesn't conflict with many of the other codes that are used uh, in traditional practice, because um, you know, in pairs often times have rules. You can't use so many codes or uh, in the same day and, and together. Uh, this slide talks about, um, and again, uh, driving home the point. And I'm not going to belabor on this. Um, how telemedicine adoption on, on a very uh, a visual way uh, is increased during the early part of the pandemic. As you know, it hit the U.S. around March of 2020. And as you can see, that there is um, definitely a, um, uh, a decrease in in the in the people who don't plan to use. So that resistance, the fear, maybe because it is a heightened emergency, health emergency, but still maybe more education, more exposure, the bigger use of Zoom and other technologies, even on, on the regular Zoom, non healthcare Zoom, uh, made people more comfortable. And and then you could also see. Uh, the increase in, in, in people who have used it. Um, and of course, that dipped down a little bit uh, the, as people use it. And some people had concerns, which is the green line, but that's kind of expected with any technolo technology solution. For more information, click on the link below or visit databrackets.com.